It's been quick, but uh, since kind of getting into watches in early 2022, I've kind of evolved into the worst style of watch guy. Now, there are a few possibilities, right? You know, you're thinking, is it, is it a Rolex guy? Is it a Moonswatch reseller? Is it that guy who constantly DMs you killer Houdinki articles? Maybe it's an Android watch guy. <laughs> no, no, silly. It's none of those. An Apple watch guy. I'm an Apple watch guy. We're all terrible, though, you know? You know, that cute little metadata square on my arm and that lumpy $100 magnetic band. It's got me looking pretty punchable. Now, viewers familiar with my content will know that I did some watch reviews last year, including the Surge Model 2, which quickly became my favorite automatic. I, I feel like it fits my whole vibe. The stonewashed accents reminiscent of my dry, flaky hands. And although I'm not into snorkeling, it being a classic diver works out well as it resists the overall moistness of my body. And back then, it felt kind of good being in motion enough to keep an auto wound. You know, however, now it's just my Apple Watch telling me I'm fucking lazy, you know. Hey there, buddy. Uh, I noticed for the last 50 minutes you you kind of been sitting down. So, you know, as soon as you're done with that burrito and that Arizona lemon tea, why don't you help me out? You can do it. Just one minute is all it takes. Now, today is, uh, today we're, we're taking off the Apple Watch and, uh, Checking out the Model 3, the design reminiscent of the Surge Model 1, but now thinner and quartzified. But just how thin, you might ask. Well, let's take a look at those dimensions. The basic footprint, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about it, if you're familiar, the Apple Watch 7 45mm, you're looking at something that wears similarly to that. I hope you're not familiar, though. But if you are, good luck pleasing those rings. All right, let's take a closer look. The Surge watch is customizable with bezels, but the dials come in three main colorways. You got your black dial, you have your green dial, and as pictured in this internet video content, the gray dial. The Surge makes a lot of bezels for these. Here we're looking at the ammo can, which is kind of an OD color made from ammo cans, you know, your surplus store. Then there's the orange G10 protecting your wrist during hunting season. Yeah, matches your vest, huh? And then an antiqued copper. Now, you know what? This is maybe stonewashed titanium. Uh, I see some copper colors in there, though. So it could be copper. So I want to hedge my bets. It's either titanium or copper, guys, okay? And as you might be thinking, ammo can and antique copper can change character over time, which is what I like, picking up a little wear. Zooming back out, the whole watch has a curated aged finish, which I think looks about perfect. You got that stonewashed. 316L stainless steel case and case back, which do tend to hide user wear if you're swinging your ape-like arms around like I do. Now finishing out the exterior is a 3mm AR coated sapphire crystal, which is a bit raised when looked at it from the side. It has a little bit of an angular bevel, sits up a little higher. And the dial scene here is gray, which when contrasted with the applied indices, which are Superluminova C3 and BGW9, it's easy to read indoors and out. About the only thing you see on the gray dial here is the Surge logo. It's pretty cool though, and that matches the logo on the screw down crown. And that is my explanation of things you can easily see, things you can get from the production listing. Is this video AI generated? It could be. Now to set the time, you unscrew the crown until you feel it pop. And then once it pops, you pull it out the rest of the way, you know, a little second pop there, and the second hand stops which is known as hacking, and you set your time. You, you guys remember the old trope, like, synchronize your watches, you know? I kind of wish I kind of wish people still said that, you know? Was it heist movies, racing movies? Now when you're done, you click it back in to get the second hand moving, and then you screw down clockwise. Now since this is a quartz, you will need to replace the battery every so often. The Japanese Miyota 2035 movement uses a SR626SW or a 377 cell, which the specs say will last you about three years. You can purchase a cheap watch kit off eBay to remove the back and do it yourself like I did. But you can get a more expensive kit, you know, you're not as likely to scratch the, the back, you know, you, you got the shakes. But I use a cheap kit here. Or you can pay a watch shop to do it for you, you know. Now the Miyota movement is about accurate to two seconds plus or minus a month, which matches what I have tracked on mine. Or, or you have a cell phone that's always on your body. Now here you have a 10 minute loom lapse of several other watches to compare to so you can see how it behaves in the dark. You know, I haven't quite figured out what I'm supposed to do in a watch review since you, you kind of see 
from the pictures what it does, how it looks, you know. I guess this is to show how it looks on a wrist and how, how it looks on your person. But, you know, this seems like a good usage of time here, just, just dimming the light, watching the seconds tick away. Now the watch comes with two straps, or you can swap in your own strap that fits a 22 millimeter lug. The rubber strap included is very comfortable, but I kind of prefer the look of the brown leather, which by the way is a thick, high quality strap. Now if you remember on my Model 2, I swapped in my own leather band for it. That's what I use for that. Now I do see a few variations out there with the stonewash bracelet. I don't know if those are available on his website. And that also looks pretty good too, you know. I'm not the bracelet guy, but other people are. But I am an individual with fragile little wrists, you know, the nerd wrists, about seven inches of the boniest areas, you know, right there. The leather strap will need a little breaking in. The holes don't line up right for my wrist. It'll be a little bit too loose or a little bit too... So you gotta break it in. Now both included straps have a stonewash buckle to match the case. Okay, that about does it. Uh, Surge Model 2 and 3 are both available on his website right now. There's no like, you know, fighting for it. No wait, no sellout. I mean, they'll probably sell out, but you know. But they're there now. Now, Serge makes the bezels himself for the models, and then the watches are made in Hong Kong with the Japanese movement. Now, thanks to Serge for providing this watch for review. They're great looking pieces, okay? And like I said earlier, from a footprint on the wrist standpoint, the strap is close to an Apple Watch, a 45 millimeter, at least probably the 7s and the 8s. Apple Watches are kind of ugly, okay? You know that. Now, if you like or didn't like this video, say hi to the patrons because it's their fault. They keep my video and editing gear up to date. 4K, macros, etc. You can be a patron too. Now, if you don't want to support the channel that way, you can buy a t-shirt or you don't have to do that. The easiest way, though, is to like, subscribe, and also, I would love you if you click that bell so my videos pop up when they go live. Having to rely on my video appearing in your feed means I'm at the whim of the algorithm, so clicking that bell helps alert you when a new video goes live. And I also post on Instagram when a new video drops. So you can, if you follow me there, you would know. And you can watch the videos. And, you know, views really help a person who makes YouTube videos, right? Thanks for watching.